Hi everyone, Pratia27 here and welcome to episode 7 of our Survivor Let's Play. In our previous episode, we constructed and built this uh, village at Trading Hall. Uh, we built up both sides and then uh, in between episodes, I began to uh, populate uh, these pods with villagers. And uh, this side is is, uh, is all done with villagers. We still need to assign some of them professions. And in on this side, we still need a few villagers to come to this side. But uh, overall, this is what we've done in our previous episode. I'm really happy about how this turned out. Uh, there's still a lot more work that uh, we do need to do with this villager trading hall. But uh, yeah, we'll get to some of that in today's episode and then uh, some more as the time goes on. And then in our previous episode, I mentioned about this farm. Uh, if you uh, guessed in the comment section that it's a pumpkin and melon farm, then you are 100% correct. So this is a quick and easy pumpkin and melon farm. Uh, the observer detecting the stem over here. If that grows, then uh, the piston uh, push down on the pumpkin or melon, and then the hopper mine cars uh, going underneath fix up all the items. So as you can see here, we have a lot of items already collected. Um, I've, I've cleared this out a couple of times, but uh, overall this uh, really uh, helps in uh, collecting some resources to be able to trade with the villagers to get some emeralds. I'll be building another section of this uh, in today's episode as well um, so that we can have one dedicated for pumpkins and one dedicated for melons. But uh, yeah, so if you guessed pumpkin and melon farm, then you were correct. The first thing that we are going to do in today's episode is to build up the barn uh, to make sure that we enclose this area and also that it fits in into the area. At the moment it's quite an eyesore so I want us to get this whole barn up and going and I think the best way to be able uh, for me to be able to show it to you will be in the form of a time lapse. So uh, yeah, if you hear the music then you know it's time lapse time. So let's get that time lapse rolling. I do hope that you all enjoy that time lapse that I put together. It was quite a lot of fun uh, putting all of that together and uh, building out this barn that you can see here. Um, overall, I really liked uh, how it came out. I used blue terracotta together with the new uh, nylon blocks uh, from the 1.16 update. Um, overall, it's a, it's a nice feel to it. Uh, also with, together with some spruce uh, wood. Um, also some dark oak uh, stairs were going around uh, with a trim that it do makes but overall really really nice I really liked how it turned out there's still a lot of work that I have to do with this uh, some more uh, variation and then also on the outside um, as you saw at the end of the time lapse as well I uh, terraformed this area um, 
giving it a little bit more height, uh, making sure that uh, in the future when we want to uh, do something here, we can do it. Uh, but uh, we'll get to that maybe in the next episode. Uh, but overall, I really liked how this barn turned out. And then with the barn now completed, I also got a lot more villages uh, in, in place. So now all of the slots are filled with villages. Uh, some of them don't have professions yet, but I'll definitely try to, to get uh, professions to them. And then we will work on trying to get the best trade, uh, trades out of them. Um, as you can see, some of them I haven't traded with, but others, as you can see, this one have uh, has Fortune Free and then Silk Touch and then, and then some Mending Villages as well. And then on this side, my uh, former villages uh, that I do get the uh, Emerald or the Pumpkin and the Melon Trades from. Um, but overall, I'm really happy that I got all the villages in place. Uh, as you can see with my levels, I've been trading with them. Now I'm at 43 levels. Uh, so I think the next step for us will be to do a little bit of enchanting. So uh, yeah, let me get all of that uh, sorted and then and uh, yeah, let's do some enchanting. Let's take a quick look at our gear situation. So at the moment we do have a iron helmet and a golden chest plate. But uh, yeah, this is not the condition we want to be in. As you can see here, yeah, the diamond helmet, the diamond chest plate, the leggings as well as the boots. We do all we do have all of the diamond gear, but it, but they are still unenchanted. So let's go and get them enchanted but first we do need to move the enchantment setup from here to here so uh, yeah as you can see we do have the enchantment setup now at our new village that we are building up we will uh, eventually build uh, something around this to make sure that uh, it's not an eyesore as well but uh, yeah now it's closer to where we want to enchant Let's start with the enchanting process. First, the helmet. Let's see what we have here. This protection four, not too bad. Let's take it. The boots for depths try the three, so let's enchant that as well. The diamond leggings for fire protection three, that's a good one as well. And lastly, the chest plate, let's take protection three. So at the end of the day, overall, we did all of our enchantments. Now that we have our gear enchanted, um, I quickly want to show you what I've been up to in some of the streams that we had on uh, over at Twitch. So uh, over here, you can see the pumpkin and melon form all build up. Um, but uh, yeah, so if you want to see me do something like this uh, live, you can catch me over on Twitch. Uh, the link will be down in the description below. And there's still a lot of work that I have to do with this. Uh, this building is a little bit uh, different than uh, the style that we do have going on here. Um, it's something that I tried. Let me down a note down in the comment section down below if you do like what I have been going on here. Uh, maybe in the next episode I'll change it out, but for now it came out really nice. Um, and as you can see inside here, um, we do have all the melons coming in as well as the pumpkins. But uh, yeah, let me go over to a little bit more time lapse um, showing you what we've been up to in uh, the live stream. So yeah, let's get that music rolling and then let me show you the process of building this up.
I do hope that you all enjoyed that time lapse that I put together. Um, this building was quite a uh, phased approach. Um, we did it in several layers. So now we do have two forms, one dedicated for pumpkins and one dedicated for melons. So uh, overall, quite a nice build. I'm really happy with it. And then uh, we will get a lot of items from this to be able to trade with our villagers to get some emeralds. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. Um, I think the next step for us will be to try to get our gear up to date. As you can see, we are still uh, only wearing an uh, um, iron helmet and a golden chest plate. So uh, I think let's go to the nether, um, try to get some netherite and get our gear enchanted. We also need a little bit more netherite ingots for us to upgrade some of our gear uh, that we still need to craft. So we went out to find some ancient debris. We found some. And then we found some more. And at the end, we just found enough to upgrade all of our gear and all of our tools to netherite, armor, and tools. We also went out to gather some more netherite, um, but for that we need to come to the nether and uh, see if we can find any ancient debris. Uh, so uh, at the moment this is the technique that I'm using. I know there's a lot of people that are using beds as well as TNT, but for me I do like the digging process. So uh, yeah, we'll see if we get any ancient debris from this. And we found our very first piece of ancient debris in this mining session. As you can see, it was just alongside the path I had to come back. And uh, yeah, here we have the very first piece. When you are searching for ancient debris, make sure that you are digging all around it as they tend to spawn in clusters of two or three. But uh, on this uh, occurrence, it's only this one. So let's mine him, uh, making sure that we do get him. And then, uh, yeah, as the time goes on, I would definitely like to find some more so uh, yeah let's get to digging out some more as we are digging down here we also do get some of these gold ores spawning in and uh, we will collecting these gold nuggets and later on we'll craft them into golden apples as we will be using them to uh, craft golden apples to help cure our zombie villagers uh, in our villager trading hall when we are converting them to get better trade. So I'll be looking out for these gold ores that spawn as well. Watch out for all the lava falls and lava lakes, um, but yes, another piece. So let's just make sure, um, I don't want to take a chance to, to lose this piece, uh, but yeah, another piece of ancient debris. While we are busy digging down here, it's also nice because we are finding some uh, gravel patches and uh, I'll be gathering these as well because later on when we want to build with this gravel, it will be useful to have it at hand. And another piece. When you are down in the nether and you're busy to uh, look for ancient debris and you do have a mending pickaxe, make sure that you gather all of the quartz as well as they give you a lot of experience uh, to uh, mend your pickaxe so that you can uh, mine for a lot longer. So make sure to do that as well. And another piece tucked nicely into the ground. So let's get this one as well and some few more. I'm back at our starter house and overall we found 17 ancient debris together with the two netherite scrap that we had um, from the previous time as well as two netherite ingots. So let's get these 17 ancient debris uh, smelting and then uh, we can craft a few more netherite ingots and then uh, use the netherite ingots to upgrade our gear and our tools as you can see here our sword and our axe also still need some netherite ingots but let's see how many we get and then we'll jump to where we upgrade them to netherite ingots and tools. The ancient debris just finished smelting and uh, we got 19 netherite scrap from that. So let's see how many netherite ingots we are able to get. In total, four of them. So let's craft up all four of them and then let's get all of our gear and then let's upgrade them to netherite gear. So yeah, and our smithing table, uh, let's get our hat into place with a netherite ingot. As you can see, uh, I also put some mending on them, um, the chest plate as well, and then our pants, and then also the shoes that we do have. And as you can see, we are all, are all decked out. Let's uh, 
and the cover, <laughs> the advancement cover me in debris, that is also very nice. So uh, yeah, uh, full out, decked out in uh, netherite gear and that will keep us safe for a very long time. The enchantment process went quite well and we are fully decked out in our netherite gear. Um, so overall that was quite a productive session and now we are a little bit more safe around the world and we won't die that often. So that's really, really nice. And then in this episode, um, we managed to build up our, f our barn over here uh, to make sure that our villagers are safe. And then also, um, yeah, it's not an eyesore anymore. Overall, it came out quite nice. We also worked on our pumpkin and melon farm we will be finishing that if you have any feedback about my pumpkin and melon farm please let me know down below and then also um, if you like this video uh, please make sure that you like this video give it a thumbs up and also if you like the content con consider subscribing and also sharing it with your friends and family and uh, yeah this was a wonderful episode i really do hope that you enjoyed it and i'll catch you in the next one have a wonderful day Bye bye